will make the left onto Route 90, but the middle lanes still have uh, construction barrel set up, so careful there. Sussex County, 13-113 on Route 1, good to go. Good on 404 Cross County, looks good in White Comical County on 50. From Willage to Pittsville to Parsonsburg, bypass around town good, 50 good out to Mardella Springs. Though, if you're heading out to uh, Talbot County, reports of a very bad accident, that's going to be the intersection of Cordova Road and Rabbit Hill Road. That's your traffic for the Voice Radio Network. James and Roe Eigelhart, good morning. Hello. Good morning, Bill and Jessica. How are you doing? <laughs> yes, Hi, you know what? Morning. I love you. I love your voice. I think we've had you on before uh, promoting Aladdin. So welcome back. Welcome yeah, back. I do so. Thank you. Glad to be back. The, yeah. So uh, first off, congratulations on all your success and everything, and you guys being back. And you know, h- how's the show been going? H- how was? The show has been going absolutely fantastic. The audiences are great. We're having a wonderful time, and uh, it's just great to be, you know, still a part of the Disney family doing some fun things. Yeah, no, absolutely. Um, you know, the reason uh, you know you're on today is promoting the animated series Kiff, which uh, you know is on the Disney Channel, available Disney Plus on March fifteenth. So it is uh, an animated series. So talk to us about it. Tell us all about it. Listen, this amazing new show is Disney Kiss, and uh, the best way to describe it is this a wonderful, nutty, animated, funny comedy about this incredible, optimistic squirrel named Kiss and her really chill bunny buddy named Barry. And I play Martin, her dad, and I'm just, what the funny part about Martin is that he loves his child, he's emotional, enthusiastic, and unfortunately, he's incredibly opinionated, usually because his opinion is being told to him by his daughter Kiss, and gets him in a lot of trouble and she's great and my wife always has to make sure that i don't get duped by my daughter (laughs) then i kind of told nick and um (laughs) i kind of told nick and lucy who created the show did you base this on my life this is basically how i am in real life with my own daughter and it's a lot of fun and folks are going to have a great time watching the adventure of this young squirrel named kiss right no absolutely look you've worked with uh disney nickelodeon dreamworks uh among so many other entities um I, I mean, you know, that takes talent to do that, to work with, you know, kid shows. And because, you know, there's there's some it, it, you got to have a gift to be able to to do that and entertain kids. I, I think the kids are the most hardest to entertain. Am I right? Am I right or wrong? I, I, no, no, you're, you're right, because kids are more honest. You know, adults will look at you and they, they have the ability to lie and go, oh, my God, how entertaining and then walk away. Kids don't have that ability. Their faces change immediately. <laughs> right. Something stupid or ridiculous that doesn't make any sense. And uh, that's why people say kids are rude. No, no, kids are honest. We teach them how to lie as they get older. <laughs> and so if you can entertain a kid or you can entertain a teenager, you, you're, you're doing your job well. You're and doing I something. think it's because I'm a big kid at heart. Right. No, that, that's that's great. That's great. Like I said, it takes a gift, a gift to do that. Um, but yet yeah, you're a, you're a big Broadway guy. You know, I remember seeing you uh, during the pandemic. I saw a couple interviews with you saying Broadway, you know, when people were, you know, like, oh, will it ever come back and what's going on? You uh, said, no, Broadway always prevails. It will be back. It did. Oh, yeah. And yeah, talk to us. Talk to us about how uh, how everything's going on Broadway. It's going well. I mean, uh, as long as there are people who want to... No, there will always be people who want to hear live stories. There's something about standing up. It's like when you're talking to your friends and your friend tells you a really entertaining story. That is fun. Theater is the same way. Broadway is just that on a bigger scale. So Broadway will never go away. It may be in a different capacity, but people on stage telling you fun stories or singing or singing stories will never go away. And that's why it's thriving right now. We've got some wonderful new shows that people are seeing on The Great Bright Way. And I'm in a show right now. I'm in Disney's Hercules at the Paper Mill Playhouse. So we've got a new uh, show that will hopefully be making it to uh, Broadway soon in the next couple of years. So that's what's happening. And if you come to Broadway, it's thriving. People are enjoying it. And, I mean, listen, there's nothing like seeing a live show in New York City. Anything else you're working on? I mean, I know you just, you know, you got Kiff coming out on uh, Disney. And you're, you're still doing Broadway. Uh, yeah, anything else in the works we can look forward to? Definitely. Kiss on the Disney Channel, but also if you're in the D.C. area, uh, Washington, D.C., during May, you can come check out Spamalot. I'm going to be playing King Arthur. And then later on in the year, I'll be playing the legendary Louis Armstrong in a musical called A Wonderful World. And so I'm having a wonderful 2023, but right now I'm just enjoying my life as a father, as a squirrel. Uh, to a wonderful young lady named Kiff. <laughs> wow, that's awesome. That's a, and and how old? How old is she? Uh, she's about you know twelve, thirteen. 
<laughs> yes. Now, hey, I, I have a 12-year-old, and he's getting ready to be 13, and I have three. I have one kid left. I had a four. I got one kid left. The rest are adults. Isn't that something? It goes by fast. Yeah. Listen, and it, what's funny is when they're adults, it's so much fun. Because my kids came in the other day, and they were like, my gosh, Dad, you know, gas prices. I'm like, ha-ha, now you understand. <laughs> yeah. Right, right. Man, that's great. Well, look, uh, James Monroe, thank you so much for checking in. We appreciate it. Again, Kiff uh, on Disney, Disney+. Plus. Uh, you, you have a great weekend. We appreciate you checking in. Thank you. Thanks so much, Bill and Jessica. Have a great day. Every Sunday morning. Every